Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Milou and I'm here with a new process video today. I am again working in my Traveler's Notebook and I'm working with this picture. It's a picture of my breakfast. Well, it's not usually my breakfast, but that's the story. That's why I printed it. It's a breakfast I had many years ago and I totally loved it, but it's not very healthy because it's a lot of chocolate. And somehow, if I eat that, I am hungry again in a few hours. So it's not really good, but I used to love it. So I was walking in the store and there it was. I saw it again and I was like, oh my God, I really love that. And why not? Let's buy it and eat it. So that's why I thought this picture deserved a place in my traveler's notebook. <laughs> Today I am working with the cute girl line from Craig Paper and as you could see I was matting my photo on this pink cardstock and I saw this paper. It was um, The paper is with little houses and it is so cute and I was like well my picture is about something very uh, cozy from home so why not use this one? It was perfect. So that's why I decided to leave a little bit wider border than I usually do. And I also wanted to use this doily. And here I am looking how uh, <laughs> I wanted my doily. But because I put some tape on the page, it got stuck already. But thankfully I could get rip it off without uh, clearing my doily. And as you could see, I used my paper trimmer to um, make my doily a little bit smaller. And I used my glue to glue down the yeah a few of the borders from the doily. Because otherwise it will stand up and you can wrinkle it by um, yeah when you flip your page. So I didn't want that. And then I saw that... My border was a little bit too wide because it covered up almost the whole doily. So I decided to trim it off a little bit more. So yeah, that's what I did there. And now I'm putting down my photo. Oh, not yet. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot. I am using my Robins today. Those are from a dollar store in the Netherlands. And I told this before. I don't know if you heard it, but... These rub-ons, I don't know, but somehow I don't use them in my uh, project life. So I put them in a box for my uh, traveler's notebook and I'm trying to use them up. It works perfectly. So today I am using this um, as a title, my little things. And I don't know if you can see it, but when I rub it on... Um, because the, my page is not flat due to all the photos and puffy stickers and embellishments and stuff in, on the previous pages, it wrinkles my, um, my, what was I saying? <gasps> my rub-on. Yeah, do you see a little break in the, if you look close by, but I don't mind, but for the next time, if you want it to work a little bit better, not having trouble with all the puffies and stuff you have underneath it, try and flip your 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 book so that you only have that page on the table, and that will probably make it work a little bit easier. So that's what I will try at least for the next time. Here I saw this little arrow from a, I don't know if I can see where it's from, sticker sheet from Kaisercraft. And I'm trying to use it up because those are not really my color and some colors and somehow, yeah, it doesn't work. So, but although this one is just black and white, so that's perfect. And... I decided to mat it on top of the photo and I first used some washi. I found pink washi in my stash and I found the yellow washi. And somehow the yellow washi doesn't stick at all. So I decided to put a little bit of glue uh, underneath and then it sticks. So it's a perfect solution. I also used this label. I stamped myself 
and then I wanted to stick down the arrow sticker but it was a little bit uh, too much blending in so I decided to mat it on this uh, mint piece of paper and then it's much better so yeah then I'm using my puffies from my previous kit those are also in the mint color and in gray so that's perfectly going along with the uh, cute girl paper pad so yeah now I decide to put my date stamp yeah and watch it hmm somehow it's not gonna work it's the same problem as with my Raban because I stamp and here I decide to flip it over and only stamp on my page but it did not work at all my page my previous page was too thick so I only see a few letters and the year and well it did not work at all but I decided to cover it up I use my tiny word stickers from Tim Holtz and it's perfect this shows you that even if you make a mistake which we all do and make um, you can cover it up sometimes it's okay and it just looks good but this time it did not and I used my tiny word stickers to cover it up I last week or so I also had it with a with a um, scrapbook layout I tried to use my stamp and I totally screwed it up why not because it didn't stamp well but I forgot to put the uh, month in the right one I had February instead of April yeah so that doesn't work but I used some washi to cover it up and then it was all fine again so keep that in mind I wrote the journaling as you could see and here are some pictures stay tuned tomorrow is an extra video for you guys if you like this one give me a thumbs up and subscribe subscribe to don't miss out on anything thank you for watching bye bye